All right, we are back with some more twist. Today we're going to be trying out Nazdormu, who has the hero power two mana draw dragon. It costs one less. And the passive, start with an extra mana crystal. You only have 30 seconds to take your turn. I mean, that's how it always works for me. If only my opponents had the same time constraints. Oh, the mirror match is going to be amazing. You. No. For a second, I, thought... I think I want to keep the future emissary just because it'll get me some good mana cheat. It's going to be a weird first match. But at least it'll be quick. Let's do this. Next turn, I'll go Hero Power and play the Cleric. And that will give me more stuff in hand for the Emissary. Guess I'll play the uh, Cleric first. On wings of destruction, Let's just do this. Now I can get uh, two dragons down next turn. Flight comes to your aid. Mm. Let's greet it a little bit more. I've got board clears already. I think having some damage is probably a good thing. That might be a bit of an issue. The dragons come. The rope is not. I've got a few options for next turn. I could go hero power Nithog or. If I need to play the Anachronos, I could do that as well. Comes to your aid. Go ahead and take the bump here. I don't really want to be in a big hurry to kill off the uh, Dragon Rider. My flight comes to your aid. Summoned, so if one of these goes up, it will get some cost reduction on the buy. Uh, I could actually use the Asera Dream spell to bounce whatever this lands on. Pushing our board advantage, reduce the chances of that uh, Dragon Rider getting much value. Is infinite. The rope is not. Okay. That's a pretty good pickup. Getting as many hero powers as possible is important. I think that's why we're in the position that we are in right now. Cataclysm. Thanks. 
stats. I think Dream is one of the first ones, and I think it still does cause zero mana. Not the one with the buff. And this won't actually take any damage here. Oh, yes it will. Jeez. Or nine mana. got some damage now because I've got this damage from here with the nightmare as well as damage from here Stay alert, my and what if we go here, here, play this guy, go face, now got eight damage just from these two. damage off right now. Deck? Okay, that would help. I think we just go here and here to pull clear this board. Unless I find something that gets me lethal and I want to prevent the healing from here because we're so close. Good. Decent chance if a minion sticks, we just have lethal over this, or I guess they just have Yasera awakens, though. go fast. Oh, that still leaves them dead. I saw this coming. I saw this coming. I wield the power. You saw what coming? Who coming? I've seen every move you make. Well that's because you are me, so checks out. I need to go get my coffee. Oh boy, it's an Arfus. I think I want to go here, power one drop again. Alright. 
Oops, that's a good hit for me. Might have been better just to equip the hammer at this point, but I'm kind of hoping that the uh, Deathwing will save me here. Stay alert, my Let's just do this. I do want to make sure I'm at 7 mana for the Dragon Flight. Bronze. Flight of the Bronze. I think that's maybe one of the first times I've seen an opponent use that card correctly. I've seen so many hero power first. And then demonstrate confusion. These kind of have soft taunt, so feels a bit necessary. I've got a couple of good options for clearing the board. The problem is I'm already getting quite low, and I don't have any healing queued up. And the opponent is getting to the point where they have infinity mana now. In addition to the infinity resources. get an ox, this has a better chance at dealing with it. really have a super strong proactive turn next turn other than maybe the light. minions though, right? Yeah. Okay. Surprised they didn't use that previously, but maybe they have something in hand that they feel could be better on it. Towards hero power, chill mo. That probably needs to die though. This is new. Open your eyes. 
I don't think I want to use the Corrosive Breath yet. More dragons. And potentially more healing. I haven't had a great opportunity to weave in many hero powers. And there is just the possibility that we get domed for a billion by the uh, C&E eventually. This will probably need to be the Chill Marlin. Or, actually, the Murazond will recast the Primus. And then we can eat their Primus with our Primus. Also got the an act so we've got two big board clears. How do they so consistently get the same legendary treasure each game? Like, it feels like it's more free common that they get um, the same option than different ones. Yeah, cool. Good thing they reduced the health total on Arthas. That's uh, clearly the problematic aspect of this deck. Like, I just perpetually have no answer to those until I find something to clear up the uh, back half with the Soul Stealer. All stealers gone. Those are two of the worst hits for me in my deck. But it wouldn't be a session of playing Twist without Arfis completely ruining it, I suppose. So we are, in fact, playing Twist because Arfis is completely ruining it. I think a very likely result of this game is that um, I simply clear all their stuff and then just take like 20 plus or whatever my remaining health total is to the dome and lose the game. Thanks to a like five cost CNE. Infinite. The rope is not. 
I mean, this is all I can do. And now I just die. Uh, sincerely, one of the worst experiences that has ever existed in Hearthstone is playing against this deck. It's incredible how, with like 19 different heroes and decks, a singular one can just ruin the entire experience. Frost, Mark of the Bitter. Yeah, extraordinarily predictable. You are a worthy foe. Just completely makes a fun game mode abysmal. Just absolutely abysmal. All right, we're just going back to conceding to Arthas. I'm not going to ruin my fun by... I'm just never playing against Arfus in this format again. Nostormu versus Cyrella. All right, we need to get a more aggressive start than this. So that, but also we do need to remove their stuff so it doesn't heal that way. I think I do want to just, um, well, I don't have a dragon, so I can't tempo out the historian. Now I can. No, you're the time traveler, Nazdarmu. Bro's getting confused already. Uh, I think we just Sand Breath and Hero Power here. That's pretty good. That's also good. Like, I just want things that keep their health total in check. few options for next turn, including Hero Power Brightwing or just Blackwing Corruptor. But I think sticking minions for the opponent's deck is extremely important because like the Hero Power alone isn't going to get you there, but being able to like get that healing off of the minions might. Flight comes to your aid. And I've got fewer options this time around as it stands. It probably wants to be one of the six drops or just a one drop, five drop. There's no opening for a hero power unless I want to take a gamble off of the, uh, like the top deck. Really? They must have a Holy Nova? Let the light reward the virtuous. No. Trust me. Holding a dragon. Let's go here. Play this. Comes to your aid. Probably this one. Hero power, play this, that's quite good. Force them to pay the iron price. Which is the same I pray, price I play when I try and play League of Legends.
Micro power, see what we get. That's better than my other options. Don't need healing, so let's just do this. And keep the Fi nice and healthy. Okay, those are gonna get boofed. But then I can just, again, use the Murazond and counter poof them. do is we'll just discover another Fi off of the Amonthul. So these are always going face. Let's check for maybe lethal. I'm one off right now. One mana and one damage. Okay. Game's a lot more fun when you don't play against Arthas. always talking so much about the past. Bro's not even internally consistent. Go get him. the thing generated this turn. It's a very good draw, just because it gives me something to play here. And, like, perfectly works in a hero power alongside it. Gotta stay hydrated. Uh, I think we just might go face and play the nether wing. to more aggressively search for the Breath of Dreams, though. I haven't gotten... Ooh, that's early. And with few hand slots. They must be a bit desperate here. Blackwing Corruptor and kill that. I wield the power of Blackwing. Oof. But we've got our 6 and our 7 pretty well lined up, and then we can start working in the hero power to uh, like catch up on resources.
I'll also use that next turn with the hero power if I don't have a Merzon toward the... Or, like, honestly, if even one of these hatches, we're probably just going with the Chrono Breaker. Still looking like we're going with the Chrono Breaker. Maybe not. They won't stop clearing my stuff. Said it's not a lot of uh, stats on board yet. Yeah. Still have a three mana. Or I guess it's a two mana elemental, but a. Let's go hero power, and then probably this and this. My flight comes to your aid. Power is infinite. The rope is not. If I kill that, then they just like throw two arcane bolts at this and it dies without getting any healing, so. It feels like it gives me a slightly better chance of getting some healing. Bask in my radiance. What was that? To me, it looks like it might have been an oopsie. No. The end is coming. Hmm. Runs short. damage. This uh, reduces the cost of the Phi by quite a bit. I guess I was a turn too early on this. Maybe the first time that I actually felt the uh, the presence of the rope there, just because uh, trying to figure out the mana cost with the um, increase from the present touch or whatever was uh, a little annoying.
Let's just kill this before it kills me. And then draw last, like a true gamer. Is it going to be able to play that anyway? There's the Fi. It's a big deal. We did, in fact, catch back up in resources. dragon in hand. So another one of those minions is a dragon. Confused why I cast it twice for a moment. But it makes sense now. I used my brain. Uh, they're going to get another Mally Ghost. Actually not too far off with the Aether that we have from hand. My hand is too full. So going face there seems like it makes sense to me. Can't target that. Still can't target that. You can target that. Just hit the Onyxia. There we go. I guess it wanted to heal me to full first. Oh, it was an echo, not a potion. I was wondering why they didn't play it last turn. But that makes a whole lot more sense. Meh. Let's see what I get here. Comes to your aid. Meh. Is infinite. The rope is not. Let's just go wide here. The 2 8 minion isn't that important, and it probably isn't worth an Anachronos. You just need to get six more damage to their face. This nice legendary sheep here, and it's gone. This power is ecstasy. Okay, this could be the Anachronos now. Make it a little bit more difficult to clear here. So I think we just go here and here. And then that gets the damage to face to set up for the uh uh to set up for the Alex Draza. Alright. 
No heal, no problem. Pretty lucky roll, but I don't know that it'll matter. Actually, possibly a luckier roll than I initially anticipated. But let's go ahead and give them a stinky. God, we've done it. Alright, deck's pretty fun.